If you just love a new car smell or the thrill of sitting behind the wheel of luxury cars, or maybe you just want a dependable car to get you where you need to go safely, then there's one place to be this time of year. It's the Pittsburgh International Auto Show coming to the David L. Lawrence Convention Center next weekend. The show features hundreds of vehicles from dozens of manufacturers. It's a one-stop car shop or maybe just a place to help you dream of how you'd fill a three-car garage. And it all starts with a fun preview called party called Dancing with the Cars. Here to tell us with about the details about this year's show is John Putzier, Chief Executive Officer of the Greater Pittsburgh Automobile Dealers Association, along with Dan Del Bianco of Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix to tell us about Dancing with the Cars. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. A lot of work going into this show. Yes, it is. It is. It's a big show and uh, it's it's welcomed every year. It's, there's not a lot to do that weekend in Pittsburgh, and we are the only show that actually carpets the whole convention center to make it a little <laughs> bit warmer. Well, that's just one of the many things yes. that you guys do. How many cars did you say? Uh, between five and 600, uh, about 37 manufacturers. You can see every car in the market, and even some that aren't on the market yet, in one place. And uh, most of the people who come are looking to buy a car. Yeah, I mean, I would say, I would, but even so, you can you get to see some things that aren't even on the market yes, yet. Yes, and we're one of the few shows that you can actually get in the cars, open the hood, open the trunk. They're not on pedestals or cordoned off. We want people to sit in them and, and buy them eventually. Yeah. Uh, so it's a big it's a big show. Okay, so let's talk about. We'll get back to the show in just a minute, but it's opening with this dancing with the cars. What is this? So Thursday night is the charity preview hosted by the Automobile Dealers Foundation. And so the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix and its charities are the beneficiaries of all the funds raised that wow. night. And uh, the funds that we raised in, back in July, back when it was warm during the Grand Prix, and what are raised on Thursday are combined. And then the check is presented to our charities, the, the Autism Society of Pittsburgh and Allegheny Valley Schools. So we've got a chance to present that large check in front of uh, over a thousand people. And here's the check. And this was presented last year? Yes, last yeah. year was four hundred and five thousand five hundred dollars. Wow. And that's just from two events. Yes. You guys were able to, to raise that amount of money. Um, Dan, I know that you guys are hoping to reach five million dollars in your thirty five year span? Correct. Yeah, we started back in, in nineteen eighty three and so we're at four point seven million, hoping to get over that five million dollar mark. But you'll have to come on Thursday to find out. It's incredible. And so where is the party? It is right in the convention center, right amongst the cars. That's why it's dancing with the cars. So there's there's drinks included, dinner, two bands, and so you're actually partying right there in the convention center. And we're looking at some video from the Grand Prix the Grand Prix, which is always a huge success. And um, is the Autism Society is that the main charity that you guys work with? And you uh, there's one other one? Allegheny Valley School. Great. Okay, so let's get back to, to the show. After the Dancing with the Cars, uh, it's open to the public. What can people expect other than to see 600 plus well, cars Well, there's there? something for everyone. We, we want to make it a family event because okay. there's a lot of multi-generational visitors. They bring fathers, grandfathers, grandsons. And mm -hmm. so we have a lot of things for the kids. We have uh, the team mascots and face painting and balloons. And so we want to try to make it uh, not, not just about the cars, but the kids love cars too. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's a family event. And I understand there's also some unique opportunities to meet some Formula One drivers. Yes, pit race out in the uh, in Wampum is going to have a big exhibit this year with some race car drivers and motorcycle racers. They'll have a Q&A and, and meet and greets and autographs. So that'll be on the first level. We also have the Galleria Exotica, which has really become a fan favorite. We have the Hennessy Venom GT, which is the world Guinness World Record fastest car in the world, 277 miles an hour. So we'll be revving the engine twice a day. It's unbelievable. So what does it take to get ready? If you guys are the only ones that carpet the entire space out. Six and a half miles of carpet. Wow. So what does it take? How long does it take? It takes about ready? four days, believe it or not. Uh, we start on Sunday, at Monday, in that area. And uh, I never think on Thursday afternoon it's going to be ready because Thursday night is our charity preview, right. the Dancing with the Cars. And you walk in, you're thinking, it's never going to happen. <laughs> and they're like a pit crew. I mean, the people at the convention center, they really do an amazing job. Yeah. And, and they get it done every year. Is there a specific car you guys are excited to see on the floor this, this uh, next weekend? Sorry. Oh, wow. It's hard to pick one. Uh, we have the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. That's a mouthful. Uh, that's, so that's the dream car, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, and we're going to rev the engine on that twice a day as well. Uh -huh. But, but uh, we have the new Ford GT. Uh, boy, there's a lot of 
Dan, I was talking to you about minivans. There's minivans for you. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you're in the market. <laughs> I may be in a couple more years. Yeah, we're running out of space in our car. So, but there's there. It sounds like there is something for everyone. Everything from the minivan mm -hmm. to a car that you can take home and drive in, and the sports cars, Lamborghinis. Yes, and, and motorcycles, and we're going to have the uh, mobility uh, vans there for the disabled, and the, it really covers the whole market. And I know the Grand Prix being your baby, Dan, you guys will have some cars there as well. Yeah, we'll have a couple of uh, rare race cars that, or I say rare, they're ones that race with us uh, okay. during our event. And so we'll have those in our display all weekend long and folks can come by and not only see them, but learn a little bit more about our event as we plan for this summer. Okay, well, I'll definitely have to check you guys out. Again, looking for that minivan. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can come kick off this year's Pittsburgh International Auto Show and then the fun Dancing with the Cars party. That's Thursday, February 15th at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Proceeds benefit Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix Charities. The auto show itself runs through Monday at the Convention Center, fri fri uh, Excuse me, February 16th through the 19th. The hours are Friday and Saturday from 10 to 10 and Sunday from Monday to uh, Sunday and Monday from 10 until 6. You can get more details and tickets online or at the door. You can also stop at participating McDonald's restaurants for $2 discount coupons. Proceeds there benefit the Ronald McDonald House Foundation.